Life Stealer, not the Sand King under any circumstances. And Mars, very, very tough against Life Stealer because you just do that feast damage to him and it ignores Bulwark. Oh, so now you get your lanes up. Um, I really am interested to see how Limp versus Moon kind of plays out and the effects. But at the same time, bottom lane, they're also rotating around the back of the Tavo. So Tavo is a little bit uh, risky. He hasn't leveled up. He'll make it in time. But, you know, it's typical Enigma jungle. Yeah. Complexity playing with like three and a half lanes. The laning phase, like for, for Maneski, just seemed to be so damn good. Now, okay, that strokes a little bit off target. Ajit trying to keep the body block up and uh, with the swell, they get the chain stuns up. and looks like 343 is going to be giving the first blood over unless one of these creeps want to turn around and stop him. It won't happen. Ajit will spill the first blood up on top lane. He's the only one. Actually, no, there is. Nah, he's, he's, the, he's the core that's falling behind in the CS, mm. but this will help him get back. Not dealing here. in absolutes. You should mm. never deal in absolutes. I'm no Sith. Yeah, I like the. The way these teams have read the early game is quite nice. Complexity with that ward to protect limp middle, but Mineski hold up, as I say it. Yeah, miracle. Oh, mid lane, that's where they're going, over towards limp. Moon, a lot of damage being taken. Oh. He needs to switch the tagger, uh, our aggro off the tower quickly. Then we move ourselves up to top lane with a swell from Ajit. 3-4-3, miracle, really on top of that Phantom Assassin. He doesn't have to jump away, so he has to make a break into the trees to get some time for the sound, but it won't oh. happen. 3-4-3 with another Earth Spike. How did that happen? PA with no... Uh Leap no. away available. I must have tried to get aggressive. Oh, he's lead a bar strike if he wants to get the mounty, and he's able to do so. Well, actually, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it was Tavo. Yeah, it's three bounty runes. <laughs> you okay, Toby? No, nah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Dust. His KP can skewer him against a tree and pull him out of this. He was actually about to, but didn't find the right line. Time to get aggressive. They're going to look to invade the pull and try and push this tower down, apply some pressure. What is Z-Freak doing here? He's waiting for the right time. Stun initiation begins. TP support is on the way from Maneski. Ragey Potato the one to do it. And Z-Freak, he's there, but oh, Ninja Boogie. Huge what a great stroke. hit. Miracle as well as Z-Freak being thrown back, tossed back in. There will, however, be the stun into Ninja Boogie. The follow-up from 343. This stun control is great, allowing for at least a 1-1 trade. But they're meant to be pressuring the tower with this. Not just having a 1-1 trade off on your Enigma who's been farming. It's a bit ambitious, to be fair, especially after the TP from the Grimstroke comes in. Remember, it's, man, I, I bet Wind Ranger would be picked if the power, uh, the, the shot would be like the stroke. Where you, Time to do uh, it. He misplayed there as well. He didn't remnant forward, so he's just not able to come back to lane now. He has to do the walk of shame all the way back to mid lane. It's unfortunate, but big break spot for Mineski. KP is huge already with face with Sol Ring top lane. Three. Yep. He's dead. He got the swell up. 3 4 3 is no way to get out of this one. Ajit will claim his second kill. And Miracle, he was still just sitting there farming. I feel like I'm watching Eternal Envy play right now. As uh, he's got the move to speed, thanks to Face Boost, try and get away, but maybe not. When Ninja Pooh can keep the slow up and the Fae Bolt, Miracle, he's low, but he ain't dead. He also had 17 one charges, so yeah, he was fine. He, why not just rage away there? He took so much damage for nothing, and now he's going to have to sit here and get a salve from his friendly lion to stay oh. in lane. A second time within the uh, span of one minute where you're just like, hmm, you could have avoided taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, is going to invade enemy jungle, but he'll find mood. Won't really be able to contest him too easily here as these Eidolons fade off. That's yeah. still the last hit, though. We actually think you're getting involved. Rubik's rotating down. They've got another KP. Yeah. And z -Freak's forced into the river. Rage Potato. Well, he's got the range. Pick him up. Throw him back in. Okay. Uh, You'll put him Another against a wall. A weird scenario where it's like, <laughs> Zach, what? That's an Ember Spear. You gotta get out of there. They're, the, they're coming for you. The Observer Ward was down as well. So the, like Mars was not under the cover of any kind of smoke. It was very visible yeah. on the mini map. Uh, but it's cool. The, the, the cool thing about the Mars bottom is that because Sand King is as well, the lane's always pushed. So Rubik can freely play in the enemy jungle, and you have kill potential threat in both mid and uh, bottom. While if Enigma's in the jungle, you can threaten him as well. So you're, you're annoying three heroes by just walking in a circle. Now, of course, Raging Potato sitting mid as the Ember Spirits look to rotate around the map. The right time. They haven't got it. That spear's well off target. Tavo came up. He was just farming. What do you mean? It's fine. It wasn't a miss. Come on, we're focusing on kills. The mid Z Freak's uh, going to take over. Tavo's actually pressure. got not enough mana. Ajit is uh, on top of a trap, though. He's got to be very careful. He's Moon, going for the rune. Moon's just going to run down Tavo underneath the tier 2 tower as well. Searing chains him up and just burn him down with a flame guard. Tavo, you need him more life. We won't have it now, Ajit, as you're going back to him. Chasing down 343. Miracle rotates over, and Ajit. 
Yep, way too deep. He was just camping the track. I'm surprised that Ninja Boogie wasn't moving towards him because if he was in range to be leapt towards, it would have been fine. But I think Merrick was actually zoning him off. So well done by Limp. Just farming the jungle and notices there's a PA walking at his lion. Lion, let's make a smoke move. Let's go kill this PA. He's only got a thousand HP up here. He actually moved back towards mid. And his bottom lane where they're going up to Tavo. He's in the trees, but Spirit Committal and the spear is able to connect as well. Rage Potato will be in the neighborhood. Dust up. And they've got themselves oh, a quick and easy kill as uh, middle lane, the wraparound behind is where Lion's still trying to find this kill, but can they get it onto KP? Very difficult. I think top would be the play, but the problem with TA in a game like this is that he's unable to play lanes too easily because the Ember and the Mars offer so much threat. You can't stay against Ember Spirit because at any point you're susceptible to just being leapt on, flame guarded, and you're in trouble. And wow, already with bots up on Moon, he's going to have yep. a ton of map control in this game. And that's the weakness of the Cole lineup. They don't really split push and play around the map too effectively. Four heroes moving up north from Complexity. Their scan did trigger on Raging Potato, who was standing just on the side of the lane. So here they come, 3-4-3, still with a finger of death, oh, he wants to the use PA, it, there's Arjit who comes in close, there needs to be a quick start from Ninja Boogie, Limp jumps in, he's actually caught him out, but KP's arrived, the wall comes up, it is a one-for-one -one trade off, as the full disengages will happen all around the 15 minute bounty rune mark. You can see just how reluctant these teams are to commit, and it's funny because both sides are going to have this bots here, Otavo's a bit behind, but, you know, a 4-1 split, neither side can really engage his five, although bottom, yeah. There's a sentry war in the backpack and one down actually in the lane already. So, yeah. oh, what a oh, juke! Oh, he actually dodges it! Saw the Barra Strike coming, uses the Spirit and Tavo in the trees. Right, uh, Moon, he's lost his shield. Didn't have mana for anything else. Oh, he's Spirit committed, but Tavo's already walked away. Now it's Tavo's turn to escape. It's a cool play that actually walk away and uh, limp after the Death will almost certainly be going for BKB. So, mm -hmm. if you can't get these arenas off soon on KP, eventually they're going to be ineffective. Oh, they see Tavo. Can't get the proper chain off, however. The Spirit will break the trees, revealing the SK inside uh, the fog of war. But the bar strike up, Raging Potato, he needs to walk further away, won't happen. Tavo, three, one four, point in here. Caustic is enough. You gotta be careful now if you're the Ember Spirit. With no Flame Guard, you're gonna die here if you catch a stun. Top lane as well, Z Freak looking to push top. Teleport coming in from the Ember, they're yeah. not gonna find him. Quick defensive spirit as well, just shows you the mindset of Moon as he arrives in the lane. It's just, they've really committed a lot, Mineski, to make sure this T1 tower doesn't yeah. fall. I like the decision too, because once that tower does die, it's easier for Cole to connect towards mid, and you need space for your PA. Cole, sure, but without Tavo showing, you know that he's always going to be able to get to an engagement because the yeah, TNT bots combo. Rage Potato going to turn around for some kind of stun, but Miracle rages up through it, and once he got, he got Mel, but he couldn't get it off in time. I he used it, but unfortunately double tapped. Nice so wall up on top, so a chain back will be Z Freak losing his life. Top. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sentry ward down quickly. Moon able to connect over on the route. KP's coming in. The stroke will not oh. be able to reach, but now KP, he blinks forward using the ink swell Got to him. get the stun. Moon will fall. Z Freak. And everyone else, 343, was waiting with that finger of death to go to work. He just solo killed Moon. KP's TPing out. They're going to find him. Can they get the stun? Yes, they can. He's got a spear and rebuke to buy a little bit more time and a little bit of return damage, but KP will try and walk it off. Blink, Limp just managed to attack him in time. Well so Blink was unsuccessful, and KP will die. It's so cool. Both teams playing similarly, where you have Lifestealer going for a Radiance, Ember Spirit as well. Looks like right now, yep. and Mineski have got to be cautious. They're going to get mid tower as well, though. Two objectives taken for free. They've equalized the gold. Just the XP still that complexity leads at the moment. And 343 three, once again hiding in the trees. Yeah, but there's a dire observer. What up on Whoa. the hill? They found themselves a target. It's gonna be the Rubik. Rage, Rage Potato very quickly dead. And KP's on the run. Under Veil as well as Radiance. Now he'll have to go for the wall. Create some space. Well, on the other side of the river, Limp unable to actually get the kill. It's KP who's in the world of hurt. Trying to keep that, that uh, at least block up and running. But it won't happen when he turns his back. Miracle with the double yep. kill, and now Roshan is on the menu. And you can see the call advantage, right? It's the initiation. You have an infest plus multiple blink daggers. You just go. And as long as you find the Rubik of the Grimstroke, there's no save on Mineski. They don't have that big golem count initiation. No one's got a force staff. It's so simple for Cole to just find that opening and then chase for more. Whoever they want is then in trouble. And now they go straight for the Roshan. Well, they're getting Roshan. I feel like they've also got the majority of every single one of the runes. And we'll see if Mineski can defend it. A slide of fist searing chains catching life stealer. But the TA traps continue to pop up. But they're underneath dire sentries as well.
And they're still looking to get aggressive. They're just going to keep chasing. Limp is moving forwards. He's Ma getting hit another trap. Maz is up in four. There's your bar strike four. Tavo going in. Ragey both. Potato couldn't actually get the ability in time to bar strike away. So Ragey Potato and Boogie dying very quickly. Yep. It's at this point, Mineski, they have to play split around the map. They can't win fights right now. We, we've witnessed why. Complexity have the initiation advantage. And right now, that that's, that's king. They mm -hmm. will find kills. If you're Mineski, you've got to just avoid, avoid, avoid. Let the supports die. It's not terrible. You will probably lose Roche here. Ajit, though, with the BKB, yep. perhaps could get They're aggressive. But They're ready for it. KP, he goes with the skewer back. They want to get a quick kill over on Enigma. Black Hole's available. He cannot do it once he's dead. Buyback is up, and he's going to use it straight away. And the revenge rebuttal into Ajit. KP. Ajit, he jumped in using that 10-second BKB to do some work. Moon can create a little bit more space for him to back up. Throwing the stifling daggers, trying to get rid of that TA's movement. They're able to do so. You have done. Roshan is still alive for the moment. He did use the Arena of Blood, however. Buybacks used on both sides. Two Smoke. from Mineski, one from Complexity. But you've got, ah, it's so tough for Ajit to play this fight now without BKB. Look where KP's standing. Right on the trap. Yep. You see him. Can they get him? Blink up. Quickly away, the trap, however, catching Potato as well as KP, a good spear, just pushing Miracle away, and Potato, he's just Dead. sacrificing himself, he it's knew it. Dying. But it's what's happening in the meantime? The top lane's pushing in, Complexity really committing for this Roshan, but it always feels like someone's close enough to be a yep. hindrance. It's, it's, it's Mineski trying to poke and prod. Get somebody from call out of position and then bam. Oh, they're wrapping Strike around the, the back PA. lines. Moon's so close, but Tavo gets the bar oh. strike off. Z and he locks him, Z-Freak. He gets the black hole. They're getting the damage through 3 4 3. They'll have enough with the follow up stun. But now, Ajit, what can you do? He double needs buyback. that BKB. It is off cooldown. The buybacks are there. The double. He jumps forward, gets a big hit over on Miracle. Roshan is still Ajit alive at the moment. Now the hex. Tavo has an infest bomb looking for the PA, but the wall is up. KP completely misses his spear, but it may not matter. Tavo picked up, thrown back down again. Miracle finally. He has to pop back out, and by doing so, oh, he'll he, get the kill over from Miracle. The black hole oh, he missed boy. it. He got the black hole on Rubik, but just completely whiffed it. Now they will not have that advantage. Oh, potato they would have been able to kill the life stealer there. That is problematic to say the least. And no. uh, Roshan, my God, very, he's still alive. Very vi You can see how much both teams emphasize that they know the edge that mm -hmm. the squad that picks up the ages will get. Moon. Careful. Gets a searing chains off for a life steal, and he's okay for the moment. That was huge, though. A buyback used on KP and on Moon, plus both supports. Only the support duo of Complexity forced to use theirs. All three cores still have that av available. So if you look to fight again around Roche, PA, right now, Life Stealer with the plate mail, with the Radiance, an armlet, he's just indestructible. 36 armor. Gone in again. Sentry wall is being planted. That dire observer will times out. They see Roshan so low. Miracle, one more attack. He'll get it. Limp has the Aegis. He the double stun from Tavo. Stolen right now for Rage Potato. He only got the Sandstorm. Oh so God. Moon, he's going to fall. If they can get him, the TA trap is going to trigger. But Moon's bottle charging as quick as he possibly can as he spirits away to safety. Ninja Boogie once again having to take the sacrifice for the team. Limp missed that initial side blade hit. Otherwise, he would have been able to kill the Ember there, only getting the Grimstroke. But you do get Roshan, 7, 8k gold lead now for Complexity. And you got to be feeling good because they still have this catch advantage. And look, once again, Rage Potato. And Tavo's right on top of him. But a Sandstorm versus Sandstorm at the moment. Um, <laughs> Midnight Pulse, however, is a little bit stronger combining with the Sandstorm. So up in the trees, Barra Strike will close the distance. But that's why they blink forward both Z freaking Limp. Surrounding Rage Potato, that just felt like a bit of a, a backyard stabbing. That's not fun. Indeed. Uh, I just, it just look at the tankiness of complexity, right? You're going to have a BKB on Enigma, finished in 30 gold. Sand King with the 10 armor talent in addition, 2,000 HP. Already brought up the Life Stealer's itemization. He'll have AC finished soon. It's just such a tough... He feels confident enough. Okay, maybe Miracle is a better choice. Beaten to the towers. Need the creep wave with him, however. Slide of fist searing chains, catching the two on the back lines. Miracle, heavy damage early on, but that's why rage and life steal. And too much it. Not stopping Moon from moving forward or copying two side blades from Limp. They're looking to go in here, infest into Tavo. Rage is back off cooldown. If they can find KP, he will die immediately. And Moon's still no four there. staffs. Moon actually jumped down to bottom lane. The bar strike Tavo. He got into the back lines. He found the Phantom Assassin sent up. They don't want to go for this, however. The infest pop does not feel right. I like that decision from Cole. It was a bit scary. You're ahead, but that initiation advantage disappears if you're jumping right into the waiting midst of five enemy players. Mistakes. It's the name of the game here. Limp's gonna go in, Orchid, yeah, and KP's dead. 
Oh, first reveal, and that's 52 seconds without Mars. And no buyback, and they should know it if they have a timer. Now it's a four on five. Mineski beelining for the split waves. But complexity, they've got so much physical damage. They've already got a big wave there. There's no clearance for it just yet. Slider Fist doing some work. Ninja Boogie going to throw out the stroke. Z Freak just commits with a BKB Black Hole. Wants the Ember down. Got 104 stolen. seconds down for so long. Black Hole is stolen by Rubik. And the Limp's already starting up his fight against the Phantom Assassin. A little hard to hit that target, but he's still giving it a shot. And now Barra Strike. Oh, he caught the back lines. He caught the Rubik. Soulbinder's already up, and Rubik is already down. No buybacks available from anyone from Mineski. The black hole was absolutely nothing. Miracle. He just needs to toggle his way out of this, and then Infest. Another Barra Strike. Another control with a finger of death, putting down Arjit. The buyback will be there to get him into the fight, but Ninja boogie has gone, and now it's just Phantom Assassin. He'll have Mars back to the world of the living. They can't go for another lane of racks, but can they go for the GG? Looks like Limp wants to keep pushing this. They want to end this right now. So what do you do if you're Mineski? You don't have enough firepower. Did you just kill in the tier four, Toby? The yep. AC isn't even on. The courier died. Miracle doesn't have his AC complete. It doesn't even matter. All heroes dead. And you can just see complexity. They find the initial kill. They back up. They reset. So many cheap abilities. The Great toggle there for Miracle to stay alive, and now KP is in trouble if he were to get an Orchid range. He, he's trying to be bait. He's trying to bind time for the Ember to come back up, so all the tier 4 towers go down complexly. They're retreating. Yeah. They do not want this fight. It's a big gold infusion, and it ensures mid lane has to be dealt with if the throne just starts taking damage. They go straight for the bottom now. Miracle's gonna yep, pop the ulti, heal the full, no problemo. Easy. Get the new items, Bar Strike forward, Tavo missing on that, and underneath the sentry, what he felt, pretty confident. Lim, oh, KP, he's orchid it up, he'll walk himself out of his own arena. SK will go down. Uh, just able to find that damage with the Soul Bind, catching out Buy the back, back line. Taking. And now another double stun could be there from Rage Potato. No, he only caught out in one, but Ajit, three, four, three. He's the primary target. Maybe now they can kill off Miracle, but Tavo, he's waiting in the tree lines. Ready to help out at a moment's notice, and he needs it. Lim held in position, but all right, there's the sentry ward. He'll be revealed. Tavo right. as well. This is just getting scrappy. Arjit has a triple kill. Tavo is going to give him another one. Um, take all the tier 4 towers you want. You've only got one lane of racks at the end of all of this, and SK's dead for so long. Well, uh, and they know that. <laughs> Complexity. Man, I can't tell you. I've seen that a lot. I've lived that a lot. Guys, look, I need to spend my gold on something. Mm -hmm. And now we can buff up the PA. An easy 80% attack speed increase. They're going to at least be able to get a tier 3 here, possibly even a racks. And yeah, those tier fours were nice, but <laughs> they don't actually provide map control once you get the racks. Ember. And if they equalize He's actually mid. found Z Freak all by himself. He was down here picking up the 35 minute bounty runes. Another spirit jump. The uh, stun won't control him long enough. BT's on cool now for uh, another 28 seconds, but uh, now the spear back. Miracle caught. The chain stuns are absolutely perfect, and he gets critted down oh by the God. PA. Buybacks are there. They're going to lose their mid lane of racks. But thanks to the fact there's no tier 2 tower on bottom lane, Mineski can now go for a second lane of racks and get momentum in creep waves. Oh boy. Lion is slowly this. moving back down again. They don't want to burn these buybacks. In fact, they're not going to. They're going to let the second lane of racks fall, knowing that Mineski won't finish this game. Not yet. Yeah, this, this is Dota 2. You know, uh, obviously that was a pretty huge <laughs> sequence of events. It's exactly the same way the, the complexity turned around in game one. It's like, oh, look, we have all of our items now because a couple of critical mistakes. Yep. They'll That's smoke all it takes. up. They'll smoke up and see if they can find themselves. Unless they're. The, the circle is to wrap around and go into the Dire Jungle. The Radiant Scan, it triggers properly. But that's Raging Potato with Four Staff and Blink Dagger. Yep. Now arriving. Uh, but they'll kill him in time. The yep. Orchid triggers yep. and he goes down. Keep in mind, the win condition for Cole here, there's no buyback on PA. If they're able to take him down, that's huge. There is a buyback on Rubik. Em Ember just went in through bottom lane. He's, he's keeping the pressure. It's bad. They're going on. for the throne. They're and going for the GG here. Oh, they're going to try and end it. Well, the Bissell Blade is yep. there for the Phantom Assassin. P PA, the only hero on Mineski that cannot die. There is no buyback available. TPs are in. Miracle. Well, there's Tavo TPing out to go on the defense, and all of complexity has retreated. If they're thinking about Roche, mm. DD rune bottom, that would be big. It looks like Mineski would be the ones that would head for it, but they still think that they're going to be here for the fight. Dyer's top shrine is under yeah, the thing is, though, PA has spent all his money. He's gotten Abyssal up, whereas if you look at the two cores of complexity, 4K on the TA, nearly 4K on Miracle. They've got buyback, but that's 8K mm -hmm. gold that they have not used in a completely even game. They found it's watching that defensive shrine position near Roshan, fresh traps coming down. 
Tavo with the infest bomb. Z Freak, Shadow Blade moving forward. He's going to walk right on top of him. And now he can actually PKB Black Hole. No, he gets a missile blade and instantly crit it down. Now they go for the wall as well. There has to be the buyback. Enigma had to get oh back God, into this fight. But who's going to be left in this time? PA has gone by. She's took out the double damage. Now you're Black Hole, but it only catches Mars. He's the only one down. Ajin was able to blink himself away in time. Maybe with a stun, Z Freak got nothing left to give. Oh, complexity. Just getting over eager there. Now, Moon, your scepter. I don't know if they really want to jump on this one. Still a DD on Ajin. They got dust. That reveals Talvo with the jump forward. Ajin gets the crit off. So much damage, and he can move into Roshan. Two heroes without buyback, no black hole. This is Roshan to Mineski. Level 25 as well on the PA. Oh, boy. And that. It's just, it's, it's all about the jump, right? And yep. PA gets it. That, but uh, the Meld Bash is quite nice. All right, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> but really, really good to have triple strike daggers and, of course, the remnant recharge time. So Moon is effectively never off map. And we saw what he did in the second game. You get yep. this. It was, well, it was Ajit, actually. It doesn't matter. Yep, they play it so well, it so doesn't really matter who's on it. And once he gets the BKB, it seems even, like, yeah, impossible to control. Unless he's just cleaning up outside the base, taking out shrines, taking out wards, yeah. taking out any kind of information that allows Complexity to posture nicely for the fight. But until they have Black Hole up, that's probably another big time. Map was controlled by Complexity, and it just swings around. All four now go the way of Mineski, not Complexity. So, boom, boom. And they're actually entering the mid. PA under oh. blur jumps in. Hi! Uh, no, no, goodbye, Lion. Uh, but that may be a little bit too deep. They're gonna find the kill. Aegis Immortal no will be expended while three, Moon though. is trying to keep Tavo under control down the bottom lane. Moon needs to actually TP himself to get involved in this fight as they rotate towards the top lane. Tavo, he starts his own TP out the damage, oh. even with the spirits. It wasn't enough to kill off Tavo. Look at the base, though. There's no Aegis, sure, but there's no Lion. A worthy trade if they can make something happen over the next 50 seconds, but they're afraid he might have buyback. They're unsure what the situation is. And remember, if you get the Nullifier off from Limp's TA, you will not be able to BKB on Ajit. It's, again, initiation, Toby. <laughs> Whoever gets the initial jump will find that kill. Yep. You don't have real save mechanics on either side. Maybe that's also the reason, too, why you see Moon switch from uh, BKB into Blink Dagger. He understands that, necessi that necessity yep. to get the instant jump. Yeah, blink exactly. blink searing chains. You're gonna, exactly. You're not going to die unless you're getting hexed, jumped, stunned, something. So you might as well ensure that you get the in information Blame because sorry, and, we've talked about this so many times when we cast like that yeah, pressure is applied it. to bottom. It's just separating and just pulling people sorry, off uh, the top lane. Alex, I got it. Oh, oh, the jump! They found the target. Grimstroke's down. 80 seconds for that buyback. So I got excited because Tavo held his 25 talent for like 20 seconds, thinking about it, and he went for Sandstorm Blind. Like it's 50% slow and blind, so it's just. It's like giving your entire, uh, the enemy team, well, it gives your team blur. Hey, an 82% right. win rate for it on this patch. Like, sure, go for it. It's good here with no one. Moving forward, oh. fire strike underneath the observer. The Z Freak gets the black hole off. Is there Rubik's. a steal? Is there something? Yeah, he's got, he's got black hole. Look at the turn, grabbing them right on top of Cliff. Easy moment. They are going to hit the crits and the cleave out. Z Freak and Miracle. They're the ones who are caught in all of this whole problem. Tavo is trying to help out. Miracle's getting his life stealing as well as oh, the infest. Alive. He'll buy some more time. Can Limp get himself out this one? He's trying to retreat. No Miracle. He oh, pops back out of Tavo and oh, the fire strike. It's there from Rubik. The chain stuns are there. Ajit finally finds the crits. Another fire strike. This they're one's blinded, from the real SK. Blinded. They just can't attack through it. Limp can finally come back into the fight, but Ajit's got himself a double kill. Someone get rid of this bloody SK so we can finally start hitting. They're bringing Moon back to the fight. He's got the spirits. The Remnant jump in. Talvo onto the sentry ward. Finally, they get rid of the blinding. And now well, the they can kill off TA. They just have so much money to sustain this Mineski push. They're being funded by the Iron Bank and complexity are buckling. TA no buyback, Enigma no buyback, Mars no buyback. This may this may be it. And look bottom. Of all the runes for Cole <laughs> to play against <laughs> once again. Oh, he's like, I could bottle this, but hey, you take the bottle and bring it with bring it bring it with you. Yeah, Z Freak looking to get aggressive, but that you gotta wonder if that black hole's the right play. You're under an enemy ward, and of course you don't see Rubik. He's going to get the steal. Yep. But it, it, it felt so good that you had two of your cores that you wanted to kill mm. off, but it's got to be the Rubik, though. It ha you have to get onto the supports. Ag's mm -hmm. now picked up. It's going to be a three on five for the game. And PA what we has got? that DD bottled. We've got an Ag's coming as well in for... Uh, who, who does that bomb belong to? It's coming for the Sand King. Well, he'll at least spend his money as long as he doesn't kill the Courage of the Creep Wave. Ember Spirit, he's jumping into the trees. They're looking for it because they saw that with the Dire Observer Ward, mm -hmm. the Courier came out. 
They want to make sure they don't have anything to fight with. No one to hide in the trees. Whoop, fortification. Courier does get back safely. Megas now. Yep. Ember has Shiva's completed as well. With four megas up, the pressure is yep. fully on complexity. And it's, hard, it's crazy to think the complexity were the ones beating the tier four towers down and retreated away from this. And now they're the ones defending their tier four towers. CD. Ragey Potatoes gets the pick up, throw yeah. down. He actually steals Sandstorm with the Ags upgrade. All right, sure. Miracle, low on life. The jump in, Ember Spirit. They soul bind them together. Tavo on Miracle. They're going to go down. That's real problematic, especially when they're back lines. Three, four, three, and Tavo have no other choice but to get back into base. And then the Spirit committal. Moon gets it. Three euros down with our buyback. TA may be spawning in just a second, but they got no damage between Tavo. He's going to throw the epicenter forward. Whatever he's got, whatever can slow this game up, he'll use it. But Hex, the follow-up's done, and he'll be critted down to full death. Enigma is hiding in base with Black Hole available, but Z Freak. I know you're a great player, but I don't know how you make this play. Rage Potato's waiting for you. They nullify it, yeah. so Limp can actually <laughs> jump forward. So then something can be done with Z Freak. He needs to let the ulti go, but Rage Potato's already been broken free. The Lotus Orb gives him back everything he's got, and that's the game. That's definitely GG, well played. Z Freak, he can refresh her and die inside of his own black hole that can be stolen.